Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you. We are talking about celebrities. Celebrities who collect dolls. Yes, that's right. Celebrities are just like you and me. They have weird hobbies as well, like collecting dolls. <laughs> now some of these celebrities might even surprise you. I've got like about 10 on this list. And I find it reassuring that more and more celebrities are coming out as doll collectors because I feel like the world is becoming a lot more accepting of hobbies that used to be considered weird. And dolls are amazing. Dolls are great. Like, how could you not want to collect dolls? Anyway, if you love dolls as much as me and as much as the celebrities on this list, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check me out on Instagram and TikTok and also check out my Patreon. It only costs $3 to get access to all my exclusive videos. I have five now. The most recent one is all about vintage Disney dolls. Yeah, so definitely check out my Patreon and support me from just $3 in creating these videos. Anyway, now let's talk about some celebrities who collect dolls. By the way, this video isn't about celebrities that have dolls made of them. Um, I did make a video about that ages ago, and maybe that video is due for an update, so if you would like me to make a video about celebrities that have dolls of them, then I will definitely do that, but this is about celebrities that have dolls, full stop. <laughs> First of all, we have Emma Roberts, who was actually the inspiration for this video. All right, guys. I think I've showed enough of my doll weirdo side and I have to go. Bye. Recently, she did a home tour with Ar Architectural Digest. Architectural Gui Digest. Am I saying that right? Gosh, I can't speak today. And in her home tour, she showed off her incredible doll collection. She also described her own house as a grown-up doll's house and saying it looked like something from a storybook, which I love. And I actually really appreciate her taste, even though I'm not a massive Emma Roberts fan. And also, I don't think I would like to live in her house. But I can appreciate that she has nice taste. And she especially has nice taste in dolls. And then stuff I really love is behind me. I'm really excited to show you guys. The doll wall. <laughs> so these are the dollykins. I'm madly obsessed with them, in love with them. She was my first one and still my favorite. But I do love all of them. We have Blythe, obviously. She's my favorite, my original girl. Like, she is really how I fell in love with dolls. From the clip, we can see she has a couple Blythe dolls. Blythe dolls are really, really rare because they were only made for one year in 1972. And they have grown a bit of a following ever since. I think Blythe, which, whichever company made Blythe, should consider... Um, reissuing some of the dolls and doing re reproductions um, because I think they're stunning and I would love to own one but I'm not willing to spend the amount of money that a Blythe doll costs because they're so rare. And then my most recent addition is a uh, Leggy Jill and I got her for my birthday and I was looking for Leggy Jill for over a year and then my boyfriend surprised me with her. I took her out of the box which he did not approve of. I know it's very, I take my dolls out of the box which people get very up in arms about, but I feel like if you're gonna collect dolls, you may as well enjoy them. She also has a Leggy Jill doll, which is a doll from the 60s. Um, again, very rare because it was only created for a couple years. She has a couple other 60s dolls, as well as a Western winking Barbie. And then this is a fun one. This is a drunk cowgirl Barbie, and I heard about her and I thought that she didn't really exist and she was a joke, but it turns out she does exist. And she's just, Amazing. Like, look at her. She's fabulous. She's having the time of her life. A classic, classic Barbie, which is famous for having a kind of dodgy eye. You can also see in this clip that she has a modern astronaut Barbie. She also has a 70s ballerina Barbie. Delicate. Graceful. <laughs> and she also has 90s ski fun Barbie still in her box. And, ugh. I would love to own 90s Ski Fun Barbie. Emma Roberts also mentioned in an interview that she thinks she collects dolls because she got rid of hers slightly too early when she wasn't ready, um, which is an interesting take. I definitely think that I probably got rid of my dolls when I wasn't ready, so maybe that's why I'm so obsessed with them now, but I definitely don't think that's the only reason. 
I think with dolls, it's just an uh, interest in aesthetics. Similar to home decor or any kind of art, um, you know, it's just an interest in like textiles and color and, you know, creativity. When I was younger and people would be like, aren't you scared your dolls are going to come to life? I'm like, I hope that every night that they'll come wake me up. <laughs> Next on our list is Sophie Ellis Baxter, who rose to fame for her incredible song, Murder on the Dance Floor, which has had a resurgence recently after it was featured in the film Saltburn. A great film and a great song. A great song. But she did an interview with The Guardian in 2014 in which she spoke about her doll collection. She said, it took time for me to realize I was a collector. I used to say, I don't collect dolls, I just keep buying them. <laughs> Until someone saw them on my shelves and I finally realized that's exactly what I was doing. I have around 60 dolls now. I don't do things by halves. Is 60 dolls a lot of dolls? I have so many more than just 60, my goodness. She appears to collect mostly dolls from the 60s and 70s. One of her favorites being, once again, Blythe. Blythe keeps popping up. Our next doll collector we have to talk about is Paris Hilton. And she has been a doll collector long before she ever became a Rainbow High doll herself. She's always been obsessed with Barbie, which is interesting because I feel like a lot of Paris Hilton's looks and style seem to be quite influenced by Barbie. In this closet tour she did in 2019, she shows off her Barbie collection. And I feel like I'm a half unicorn. And this is my Tinkerbell. I've always been obsessed with her. And I named my first Chihuahua after her. I love Barbie and I've been collecting them since I was a little girl. So this is some of my Barbie collection. She's an icon. <laughs> and we can see that she has a top model Barbie. I really want one of the top model Barbies. She has Chanel Barbie. She has Juicy Couture Barbies. She has the 1969 Mad For Each Other Barbie. She has two Barbie Basics dolls. She has the Maid Silkstone Barbie. She has the MAC Cosmetics Barbie. She has Movie Mixer Silkstone Barbie. And she has Teacher Silkstone Barbie. She has loads of Silkstone Barbies and I'm very jealous because I only have one, two, well, one. I have one Silkstone Barbie and I love her. They're beautiful. They're so beautifully crafted, those dolls, and I'd love to have more. Maybe I need to do a bling ring and break into Paris Hilton's house. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I don't want the FBI knocking at my door. As well as becoming a Rainbow High doll herself, Paris Hilton tried to release her own line of dolls with Simba in the 2000s. And I have to say, these dolls are kind of cool. I have n I'd never heard of them before until I was researching for this video. And that kind of cool. If anybody knows anything about these dolls or can get me one, let me know, because I'd love to own one of the Paris Hilton dolls. She's also been spotted doll shopping several times. Once she was buying a Gwen Stefani doll. A couple other times she's been spotted buying Barbies. And she's also done like editorial photo shoots holding Barbie dolls. Okay, the next celebrity we have to talk about is kind of an obvious one, but Trixie Mattel from Drag Race is kind of famously inspired by Barbie, of course, you know, Mattel is in her name. Trixie Mattel also talks a lot about Barbies on her YouTube channel, but she's not the only Drag Race alum that is obsessed with dolls. Quite a few of Drag Race drag queens have mentioned their interest in dolls. One that especially comes to mind is Sugar and Spice, who are Primarily inspired by Bratz and Monster High. Love them. Miley Cyrus spoke about her doll collection in an Instagram live stream with Trixie Mattel in 2020. The cursed year 2020. For me, it was like, well, I loved Barbie so much my whole life. Right. Whole life. Did, you love, did you like Barbie when you were a kid? You know, I have all these dolls upstairs. I'll show them to you. I have Hilary Duff as a Barbie. I have all the Britney Barbies. I have all the NSYNC Barbies, all the Backstreet Boys Barbies. I was obsessed with all the Barbies, but I also loved when artists would make their own Barbie. That was like my favorite. So when I could get a doll of my favorite artist, because music was always what I loved the most. Oh yeah. Um, do you have the Spice Girls? Yes, I have them framed in plexiglass. Oh my God, yours are doing better than mine. Look at mine. <laughs> oh, I have, wait, how do you have so many? Oh, Miley, I don't think you understand. 
you're about to like see the dark underbelly of my life. If anybody wonders what I do with uh, any sort of my free time. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> this is what I call my shame closet. So this is a lot of my dolls in the box. My ones that are on <laughs> your face. <laughs> I'm then, so jealous. I thought I had a good collection. And then the ones out of the box. This is in my bedroom. Look. Oh my god. I look, am that's in my this is in my room too. <laughs> I would live in there just to live at this place. I know. I always think about taking them down, but honestly, never no matter who people are, whenever people come over, they just turn into kids and they're just like Ugh! And they want to touch him, they want to hold him, they love it, so. She mentioned in the live stream having mostly dolls of her favorite music artists. She apparently has the Spice Girls dolls framed in plexiglass. Framed in plexiglass, I can't speak. Framed in plexiglass. And Miley, if you happen to be watching, number one, I love you, I'm a massive fan. Number two, I'd love to see a photo of your Spice Girls dolls and your doll collection in general. I wanna see it. Heidi Klum mentioned in a 2019 interview when they were creating a Barbie of her at Mattel that she has many collector Barbie dolls at home. I have many, many Barbies at home, you know, from collector's dolls to, you know, the dolls that I had when I was a little girl which may be not as much worth because, you know, I opened them up and I played with them and I've been in the tub with them and I cut their hair, but they still mean a lot to me, so I still never threw them out. You know, I, I have a lot of them. She also advocates for us adult collectors in the video, which I love. What's a lot of fun about um, Barbie collecting is that you can maybe not necessarily afford, you know, the big time designers like Versace or Diane von Furstenberg, Labutan, you know, you, you name it, like the big time designers, but you can have your Barbie with those designers, and which is a lot of fun. Um, it's great to collect them, it's great to play with them, you can, you know, undress them, change outfits, and, you know, I don't think it's only fun for children, it's, only a lot, it's also a lot of fun for grown-ups, and I can vouch for that. Now this one is quite surprising, but supposedly Johnny Depp is a doll collector. In an article written by Entertainment Earth, it says, Depp has never said just how many dolls he has in his collection, but sources have reported that the actor possesses dozens of limited edition Barbie dolls. And his collection goes beyond just Barbie, he has also amassed some celebrity dolls. These include Donnie and Marie Osmond, Beyonce and the other members of Destiny's Child. Is Johnny Depp part of the Beehive? Elvis Presley, New Kids on the Block, and the entire cast of High School Musical. <laughs> In addition, he likes to accessorize his dolls to match the showbiz news of the time. This explains why a few years ago he added a house arrest ankle bracelet to his Lindsay Lohan doll during the time that she was under house arrest. Apparently, Johnny Depp used to play dolls with his daughter, and he would use the dolls to kind of try out different voices for characters he was gonna play. And then when his daughter grew out of dolls, he just continued to collect them. Obviously, in recent years, Johnny Depp has become quite a controversial figure, but, you know, I'm in full support of his doll collecting. Demi Moore supposedly also collects antique, probably haunted dolls. <laughs> she has over 2,000 and has had her collection insured at a cost of $2 million, apparently. I definitely have about 2,000 dolls. Maybe I should get my collection insured. But my dolls aren't really antiques. They're, they're kind of vintage, retro, um, but they're not like super old. From what it sounds like, Demi Moore has like, you know, kind of creepy Annabelle style dolls. Britney Spears is also a doll collector. Obviously, she became a doll at some point in her life. I have quite a few Britney Spears dolls, love them. But Britney herself collects more porcelain dolls. Thank you. And you have a big doll, too, they told me. Yes, I do. What this is, is this, this about? This is my favorite doll. This is like the collector. Um, collector oh, my item. goodness. Porcelain? Yes, porcelain. I collect dolls. You... So I was really, really excited when I saw this. Thing. That's very nice. Look, you get that on QVC, right? That's where you get all the dolls nowadays. Yes, yes, you do? Yes. yes yeah. Are you going to go on and sell it? Um, I don't know. Maybe. 
Brittany also mentions in her book that she collects Madame Alexander dolls. Brittany's mum shared a couple images of her doll collection in 2023 on Instagram after she was accused of throwing them all away. Brittany also shared pictures of herself with a baby doll in 2021 as a prank pretending she had a real baby. <laughs> Brittany, what do you like? John Barrowman, who is mostly famous in the UK, especially for appearing on Doctor Who back in the day. But I remember a show he made on the BBC which was exploring whether people were born gay or became gay. When do these brain differences arise? Before or after birth? Many of these functions, particularly the spatial skills and the verbal skills, reside in different parts of the brain or different sides of the brain. Okay. And given that these correlate very highly with who you are sexually, as a gay man or a lesbian woman or a straight man or as a straight woman, um, it also suggests that sexual orientation is something that is hardwired. That you're before birth. born with. That you're born gay. I remember it being quite an interesting show, but I remember in one part of the show he actually showed off some of his doll collection. And I think I remember him having a Dorothy doll and a Cher doll. We love appreciating gay icons. Stevie Nicks also mentioned in an article with Elle magazine that she has a small Barbie collection growing ever since the release of her Barbie. She now also has the Margot Robbie Barbie from the Barbie film. Apparently she has some other dolls as well, but I couldn't verify this anywhere. I'm not sure if having a couple dolls quite categorizes you as being a doll collector, but you know, Stevie Nicks is there with us. <laughs> so there we have it, doll fans. We spoke about a few celebrities who are themselves doll collectors, just like me. <laughs> Please let me know if there are any celebrity doll collectors who I forgot to mention in this video and maybe I'll make a follow-up. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. And of course, check me out on Patreon and also check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye. Thank you to Siren Kelly, Sunny, Bobby, Cheryl, Imani, Tracy, Giko, Patty Heiss, Anna, Jordan, Cynthia, Raina Ray, and Petra. And thank you to all my other Patreon supporters. Your support means everything. <laughs>